Yo guys, just doing a quick video here so that I can demonstrate how to use a back bar so that it saves you moving from one hot bar to another during combat. So for example, you tap R1 and it rifles through hot bars. I find that really confusing. I can never keep up with what hot bar it is that I'm on, but with the rear hot bar enabled, you can basically access it and then once you have it will just flip back to your ordinary hot bar so it's almost like you've got less to do so basically how do you go about doing this it's really easy go under your options setting over to character configuration scroll down to hot bar settings once there click on it scroll all the way across to custom and you click on this bit enable expanded controls with l2 plus r2 and you just do it so that if you strike L2 followed by R2, it will highlight cross hotbar 8 on the left hand side and vice versa with R2, L2. Uh, and you can set this up so there's any hotbar that you like. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be 8. It can be anything you want. But I happen to have it on 8. Uh, and I tend to put things in the same place for all classes so that I know where things are. And then anything that's on that rear hotbar, so hotbar 8 for example, I can't see that hotbar during combat, so I don't know when things are on cooldown. So because of that, I've literally just placed yet another hotbar here, so that I can see when those essential skills are on cooldown or not. So I can just, I know that, well, great, Rampart's off cooldown, I can finally do another big pull and probably not die and all that good stuff. So the things that I keep on my actual cross hotbar, these things are typically attacking powers. You don't want something that you need regular access to on a back hot bar because it's just an R sake to access. Whereas a buff that you use every 90 seconds may as well sit on the back and you not worry about it. I do the same thing with such abilities as sprint or grit. So your tank stance, yeah, you need to turn it on and off again. It's not often you need to turn it off uh, unless you're off tanking and you're gonna steal aggro because you're some sort of alpha male beast. Um, but you do find that if you go in and out of a dungeon, it deactivates itself for whatever reason, so you do have to access it. So I leave that on a back bar. So basically, how does this work for me? Well, I can give you a wee demonstration now. So basically, if I tap L2, it brings up my left side of my hot bar. But if I activate L2, R2, it brings up the left side of my cross hot bar 8. Uh, and vice versa for R2. Plus L2 brings up the right hand side of my crossbar 8. And I'll show you how this would work in combat, for example. Alright, so bear with me, guys. I'll just make sure I get a reasonable view. I'll do my standard sort of pull. The way we go. So, what you'll see in a minute, guys, is me activate that. That's from the rear hotbar. So is Delirium. I'll just rifle fewer, a few abilities. Now, if I was in combat, and let's say uh, raid wide damage is about to go out, and I need Dark Missionary. All I'll do is make rear hot bar, set it off. Tankbuster's coming in. I don't have access to Blackest Knight. I activate Shadow Wall instead. That again is on my black hot bar. Can you see now the hot bar that's directly above my cross hot bar that that displays when things are on cooldown? So let's say I'm in a dungeon, I've just done a massive ad pull and the healer's really struggling. You should be doing this anyway, guys, as a tank. If you're not, you're a twat. I activate Rampart, I take less damage, I activate Reprisal, all the enemies around me do less damage. And they're all on back hot bars, so that I... You don't need regular access to them, you're only going to need them every now and then. So that's essentially why they sit on there, and that's how I use a cross hot bar. Hope you found this useful, guys. Uh, if you've not tried it yet, pick up the Dark Knight because it is absolutely awesome. And that's about it. Hope it helps. Bye-bye.